In the South Puget Sound area of Western Washington is the city of Federal Way. And on the south side of that is a 120 acre plot of land called the West High Levels Wetlands. And to get there, you take the Highway 18 exit off of Interstate 5 and head west towards 348th Street. For parking, there are three options. The first and most direct one is the parking lot off of 348th Street, which puts you right there with a couple of old historic sites. But it's not very big, like you can see here. So another option is to go to the park and ride, but then walk your way back towards the 348th Street parking lot. And then your third option is to go down to 356th Street and park at the Blueberry Farm parking area. It's not very huge itself, and the parking spots aren't marked because it's just a gravel area, but at least it's bigger than the other one. And it has a south entrance to the trail into the wetlands. And inside the wetland area, as you walk your way around the trails, there are two lakes that you can go to. Mar Lake in the northwest side, and Brook Lake in the southeast side. So I hope this video gives you an idea of a nice, quiet place to go for a hike in the middle of a busy city. So we're starting our hike here at the West Hylobos Wetlands in Federal Way, Washington. And when you have old cabins, why not make one of them into a porta potty as well? So the trail starts out pretty smooth, as you can see, fairly wide, nice and smooth, flat, easy walking. But if you're tired already, you can sit down and take a break. For the most part, it looks like they keep it trimmed back, but there is some stingy nettle here on the side, sticking out a little bit. So just watch that when you're walking along. And the blackberry bushes. But speaking of blackberry bushes, it's July right now, and shortly here, about mid-August, all these will be pretty ripe. So along this and the BPA trail, which is just down the road, we'll have plenty of them. So you'll see lots of people with bowls, picking them. We know because we've been those people. And about a quarter mile in, there's an information board here. And then on the back side, there are a few pamphlets. And if you open those up, it shows a bunch of trails in the area. Well, really all the Puget Sound. So we've come to our first Y in the trail, and we're going to go off to the right because it's a short out and back on the Mar Lake Trail. And a little ways down this trail, you come to another picnic area. It's only been a couple minutes since that Y, and we're already to the lake. So, small river crossing, stream crossing really. As we keep going past the little stream crossing there, it does narrow and they haven't trimmed it too much, but still passable. And there is a bench here, and if you want to take a break, you have some spectacular views of the grass. So as we're looping around the lake, you can definitely tell that they don't take care of this part of the trail. And it's blocked. So whereas on all trails it showed it going back to a road and towards the parking lot again, this is the end of this trail. We'll go back to the Y. So we're back to the Y. We just came back from Mar Lake Trail. And I think really the only thing worth going down there for is the picnic area. So let's head off this way. And just a short ways from there is where the boardwalk starts. And if you're already tired, you can take a break. Or you just want to sit down and enjoy the peace and quiet. So as you can see here, the boardwalk looks like it loops around. So we'll head off this way. That's where all the arrows point. Come back around the other way. So on this loop, we're gonna go off to the left and then we'll head back towards the exit.
there's Brook Lake, and when we were at the viewpoint there, we took a right and headed up the boardwalk this way, which brought us out to a parking lot, which is down by 356. So walking past the community center there, you do get over here to the blueberry farms. So if you're interested in that, and the blueberries are ripe, which I know ours are right now, you see a couple people out there. So the parking lot for this, not too large, but obviously pretty empty here on a Saturday morning. They're coming back from the Brook Lake viewpoint. That's where we originally came in. Well, it's from that direction. Just went to the viewpoint. And now we're gonna head out to the exit. It says it's about a half a mile. As of now, all the wandering we've done is a little over two miles. And been pretty mostly flat. There's a little bit of an incline at that last exit, but not too bad. One thing to definitely note is that there are a lot of bugs. And so probably pack some bug spray. You're gonna be swatting a few of them. They weren't too bad, but you could see a few mosquitoes and other things flying around. So prepare for that. So naturally, given that it's a wetland, you're gonna have a lot of beautiful scenery with the trees and brush. There are also gonna be animals. We've seen birds, definitely heard them. Bunnies hopping around. Somebody commented that they saw a beaver. It's good for strollers, wheelchairs. And certainly be careful if it's been a little wet because the boardwalk can be slippery. There is one section of the boardwalk where they've laid down some anti-skid material. Overall though, it was a pretty nice, easy stroll through the woods. So definitely worth getting out. Take a little bit of a walk, some quiet time, maybe read, relax and just enjoy. Thank you.